I'm Chris Goodman. Dia Davidson is off today and Big Blue Nation hoping for a football win to ring in the new year. Kickoff set for just moments from now at noon between the Wildcats and the Virginia Tech Hokies in the Belk Bowl in Charlotte. And things got a little dicey before kickoff. This video comes to us from the Cameron Mills radio show. You can see a sea of cats and Hokies and then security comes in to help. The Roanoke Times later posted video of a second scuffle before everyone left the field. Multiple reports state Lynn Bowden was involved in the scuffle. No word on what caused the dust up, but the Belk Bowl Twitter account reported it was because the cats and Hokies have a quote intense friendship. Hopefully no fights in the stands. Lots of fans made the trip to Charlotte to cheer on their cats. LEX 18's Kylan Mills joins us now with a look at all the game day excitement. Well, fans have now filled up Bank of America Stadium and the Hokies and Cats are on the field. The Belk Bowl is just getting underway, but the party really started hours ago outside of the stadium. The street was blocked off here in downtown Charlotte. There was food, music, and of course, drinks were flowing. There was quite the crowd of mostly Kentucky fans. Fans tell us they're ready for a big matchup. Many drove hours to get here or they booked an expensive last minute flight. They say it will be all worth it though if the Cats get a victory. I think it'll be a very, very competitive game. I think uh, both teams are very, very good. Good ground game, so we're hoping for a Kentucky victory. Blue, I want to see a sea of blue. We're going to pound them, bold and smoke, pound them. Now, as for the game, one final curtain call for Lynn Bowden. He has a chance to cement himself as one of the most electric players to ever wear the Kentucky blue. Now, both teams, a lot of young guys who will be coming back next year, both teams have the chance to be very successful in the future. Cats fans say they're excited for what's to come for this Kentucky team, but also hopefully to see a win here in the Belt Bowl. For now, from Charlotte, we'll send it back to you.